we welcome you this morning to the Thursday morning worship service, Jesus Christ, the door to liberty. Our theme is Jesus Christ offers freedom of access to the divine saving presence and sustaining provision. We welcome you here this morning. God is with us and Jesus is the door to liberty. We have a moment of a call to worship. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. That comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 12. I ask you to join with me in these moments. You will hear different voices here leading in this invocation, but I ask that you likewise would join with us in heart and mind as we have our moment of prayer to start our morning. Let's pray. Lord God, early in the morning when the world was young, you made life in all its beauty and terror. You gave birth to all that we know. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, when the world least expected it, a newborn child crying in a cradle announced that you had come among us, that you were one of us. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, surrounded by the respectable liars, religious leaders, anxious politicians, and silent friends, you accepted the penalty for doing good, for being God. You shouldered and suffered the cross. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, a voice in a guarded graveyard and footsteps in the dew proved that you had risen, that you had come back to those and for those who had forgotten, denied, and destroyed you. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, in this gathering of your church, gathered from peoples and cultures and nations on earth and in heaven, we celebrate your creation, your life, your death and resurrection, your interest in us now and always. I say amen and the people of God say amen. amen. I invite you to stand and join us this morning as we sing together.
Take your seats. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're reading our scripture from Ezekiel chapter 34, starting from verse 11 to 17. I'm reading from the Zulu Bible in Zulu. Where Ezekieli amashuma matatu nane busugela evesin le shuminanya. Verse 11, Goguba Ishoganje inkosi uchehova iti pegani minangyaguzifuna izimvuza mengizi tinge. Njongo malusi u verse 12, njongo malusi efuna mshambu wake, mtaye pagati kwe zimvuza ke, ezi lasegi leyo. Ganja alo ngia kufuna izi mfuza ami. Gizo pule guzo zonke izi ndao. Ezi chaka zege guzo ngo sugula mafu. Ndolobu mnyama. O verse 13. Gia guzikipa kubantu. Gizi kote emazweni. Gizi yise ezwe nlazo. Giza luse zintabe nza kwa Israel. Ngase mfule ni. Ngase zintawe nzonke za kweyo zezwe. Verse 14. Gia guza luse la emadlele ni amase. Isbaya sazo sibe se zintabe ni. Zimpaga ama ya kwa Israel. Gia guza buktisa kwa. Kona isbaine sile, zikabe matlelueni alshaza ezintabeni zagwa Israel. Verse 15. Mina angu ya kuzalusa izi mfuzami. Ngenze uguba zibutise isho inkosi u Jehovah. Verse 16. Ya kufuna ezila shegileyo. Gibu yise eskoshweyo. Gibope eza pugileyo. Gikinise ezikulayo. Gepa eskulpeleyo. Nezi na manza. Nyagu zikita. Giza luse ngwa shulele. Uverse 17. Ninage zimfu zami. Isho inko usu chehova. Iti. Bega ya kwa shule la pagati kwe mvu ne mvu na pagati kwe zimpongo. Amen. I'm reading Ezekiel 34, 11 to 17 and I'm reading in Afrikaans. Verse 11. Van soe sê di jere jere, kyk, ek is die ek en ek sal na my skape vra en vir hulle sorg. Verse 12. Soos die herde vir sy troopskape soog, 
op die dag als hij onder zijn verspreide schapen is, zo so zal ik voor mijn schapen zorg. En ik zal hulle red uit al die plekken waar in hulle verstrooi is, op die dag van wolken en donkerheid. Vers 13. En ik zal hulle uitleiden uit die volken en verzamelen uit die landen en hulle brengen in hulle land. En ik zal hulle laat wij op die bergen van Israël, in die kloven en in al die bewoonbare plekken van die land. Vers 14. Op een goede weiveld zal ik hulle laat wij, en op die hoge berg van Israël zal hulle weiplek wees. Daar zal hulle le op een goede plek, en weil in een geil weiveld op die bergen van Israël. Vers 15. Ik zelf zal mijn schapen oppas, en ik zelf zal hulle laat le in rust. Spreek die jere jere. Vers 16. Die wat verloren is zal ik zoek, en wat weggedreven is, zal ik terugbrengen, en wat gewond is, zal ik verbind, en die ziekes zal ik versterken, maar die fittes en die sterkes zal ik verdelg, ik zal hulle oppas, zoals het recht is. Vers 17 En wat jullie aangaan my schapen, zoals je die jere jere kijk, ik zal oordeel, Tussen schapen en schapen, die ramen en die bokramen. Dat is de woord van de Lord. Amen. We gaan all stand again and uh, we're going to shake off the early morning in this next song. So, would you all stand with me? sing is a, a very short song, but uh, we can have some fun with it this morning. Halle, 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 hallelujah, halle, 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 hallelujah, halle, 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 hallelujah, 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 halle, 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 This morning, let's begin to clap together. Feel free to move around as we sing the song again. Here we go. Halle, halle, halle. voices and sing it together. Halle, 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 luya, halle, 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 luya, halle, 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 luya, halle, luya, halle.
you take your seats again. I'm going to read from John chapter 10, verse 1 to 9. I'm going to read in Kosa. Verse 1. Inen, inen, gichikuni, onga ngeni onga alo isangu, ebu shantini bezimvu, usuga kwele ngenda o yimbi, loo ulisela nesi ange. Verse 2. Keena, onge na nga alo isangu, Ungumalusi wezimfu. Verse 3. Umtwini sangu. Uya mvulela lowo. Ziti nezimfu zilive izilake. Azibize ezake izimfu gamagama. Azikokelele panze zona. Verse 4. Ka ate wazikupa Ezake izimvu, uamba pambi kwazo. Ziti nezimvu, zimlandele, kukuba zialazi izilake. Verse 5. Keye na oase mzini, azimlandeli, zosuka zibaleke, kukuba zingalazi izilake oase mzini. Verse 6. No mzekelo, wa uteta kubo uyesu. Kebona, abazikonda anga, ukuba zizinto zini na ezo, abezi teta kubo. Verse 7. Wabuye wati ngoko kubo uyesu. Inene, inene, gitikuni, gim, isangu, lezi. Verse 8. Bonke abezayo ngapam kwam. Banga masela nezi hange. Zona izimfu asibavanga. Verse 9. Ndimi sangu. Kuba ute umtu wangena ngam. Wo sindiswa. Uya gungena. Aptume. Afumane uyani. Lizi lenkosi liveli. Amen. Greetings, brethren, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'll be reading from the book of John 10, verse 1 to 9, in Isindebele. Verse 1. Kwa mambala angitunisi lengitigini, Umundu ongangeni esbayeni sezi mfunge sango. Kotoana ongena ngogweka ngenye indlela. Ulisela no mdeleze. Verse 2. Umundu ongena nge sango. Gumelusi wezi mfu. Verse 3. Umlindi sango uyamvulela isango. Nezi mfu zake ziyalila lela izi lake. Ubiza izi mvuza kenga mabizo azikolele nga pande. Verse 4. Nasele azikupele zoke za kenga pande. Ukamba pambi wazo. Izi mvuza kezi mlandele. Gombana zialazi ili zilake. Verse 5. Kotona angeke za mlandela ezi nga mazigo. Kuna loko ziza mbalege la loyo. Gombana azilazi ilizi lochili. Uchesu, verse 6. Uchesu wabachela umfanegi solo. Kotoana azange bamle muge bona begatini gibo. Uchesu ungumelusi olungileyo. Yege uchesu wati kotu. Kwa mambala, gikunisi lengitigini, gilisa ango. Boke abafiga ngapambi gwami, masela na bazelezeli. 
Ngalokho izimvu azange zabalandela. Verse 9. Mina ngilisango, ongena ngami, uza gusida, uza gungena, afume, afumane idelo. Amen. Let us pray. God of our open futures, help us to explore once upon a time moments where stories begin and outrageous hope, outspoken love, justice, and joy are released. Help us to see where the nudging angels move amongst people, longing for comfort and the community sensing beginnings of friendship, wanting touch and affirmation. Help us to enable life's great feast to happen, hearts and hands, baskets and pockets to open, neighbor to share bread and peace with neighbor. Help us to make a place for another so that in the most ordinary of miracles, all are fed. Amen. Shall we all rise up for the benediction, please? May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, energize us to be able to do all that we need to do today. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, may we be seated for the next announcement and instruction for the day. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. And I trust we're having a wonderful time in the Lord. We welcome you again to a full day of our Congress. And we pray that you all will take the most benefit of what we have to offer you today. Um, by way of announcement, there's a change in some of our rooms for our Bible study language group in group five. Our Korean Bible study will be in room number 12 A B, not 21 A B. Korean Bible study is in 12 A B and not 21 A B. For our focus group this afternoon on conversations with the Roman Catholics, from 4 to 5:30, that room noun is room number 12 A B and not 21 A B. We have arranged uh, lunch and dinner for uh, sale, but uh, for your convenience. And we call it the Flavors of Durban. It's right outside of uh, Congress Center, adjacent to the Hilton Hotel. That was arranged specifically for the Congress. We're encouraging you to take advantage of it. Uh, go out there, enjoy what they have to offer for very reasonable price, as well as there will be entertainment going on from some of our Baptist friends who have come to share their gifts and talents with us. In hall number four, we have some table displays and our book uh, uh, sales going on, so please visit table num uh, hall number four. There is a medical center on site. On yesterday, there were a few persons who were looking for that facility. It is adjacent to hall five, right on this level. So if you are uh, seeking some uh, medical help, please report to the medical suite on this level adjacent to hall number five. Also, we have a prayer room available. During the day, you just want to have some quiet time. You want to go in and talk to someone and just relax and just have a sense of meditation. That room is located in room number 11A. 11A is our prayer room. 
those persons wanting to go on a tour on Saturday, please see the tour desk. Now, there are other opportunities that you will not have in your um, program book. One of such is taking place today from 1245 to 145 in rooms 2A, 2C, and 2D. And uh, there will be a documentary with a panel discussion on several relevant issues affecting our society today. We pray God's blessings on you as you dismiss from this place and go to our Bible study. Thank you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. And you are dismissed. Uh, Dr. Carol uh, Balkan. Uh, Dr. Anthony Carroll, if you are here, please see me or uh, uh, Miss Julie. All right. Dr. Anthony Carroll, if you are here, please see me immediately after we dismiss. Thank you so much.